This is lesson 4.2, adding and subtracting polynomials. So the first new definition is a like term. Like terms are terms with the same variable and the same exponent on that variable. So for example, 2x and 3x, they have the same variable and both of them have an exponent of one. So those are like terms. If we just have two constants or two numbers on their own, those are also like terms. They have the same variable, which is zero or non-existent. And of course, the same exponent on that variable because it's not there. In this example, the, they both have variable x. They both have exponent two on that variable. So those are like terms. And same here, they both have the same variables x, y, both to an exponent of one. So those are all examples of like terms. Uh, in this example, we want to match the like terms. So of course, none of these circles would have been uh, there to start. We just have a list of a bunch of terms and we want to figure out which ones are like terms. So I've circled them by color. Um, first, I went with red, uh, that we have two x and negative 11.5 x. So I circled this one and then I said, which of these other terms have just an x variable? And this one was the only one. So those two are like terms. For the second one, are there any other terms that have x squared in them? And this one here is the only other one. So yes, here, this is y squared. It has the same exponent, but does not have the same variable. So those are not like terms. We have one constant of negative one and another constant of seven here. So those are like terms. There's no other numbers just on their own. And that just leaves us with these two terms here, and they're not circled because they don't have a matching like term. There's no like terms here. Yes, they both have variable y, but they don't have this, it's, uh, the same exponent on that variable. One of them has exponent one, one of them have, has exponent two. Oops. Uh, like terms can be combined by adding or subtracting. And this is how we simplify expressions and simplify polynomials. So how do we add polynomials? First, you find any like terms, and then just add the coefficients of those like terms to combine them. So for example, if we're given these four terms, um, this is one big polynomial, or we could say it's you know this polynomial plus this polynomial. In other words, we just wanna combine all of these terms together based on which ones are like terms. So I've done these in different colors again, uh, let's go here. So in green, the x squared terms, those are like terms. So when we're combining them, we just add the coefficients together. We're looking at how many x squareds we have. We have four of them and we have three of them. So in total, we have seven x squared because there are seven x squareds. It's kind of hard to say. Um, and then these other like terms here, we've got two x and five x. These are like, we can add the coefficients. We've got positive two and negative five. So overall we have negative three X. There are negative three X's. And so that might seem a little weird because you're saying how is there negative of something? Um, but when we're working with terms and numbers, we can go into the negative. So um, how many X's do we have? Negative three. So then we finalize the simplification, what I have in this blue box here. Uh, we just have 7x squared minus 3x. This is the final simplification. So I put a note here. This is as far as we can go. These two terms are not like terms because even though they have the same variable, they do not have the same exponent on the variable. So this is as far as we can go. Let's try some examples. Add each pair of polynomials. For this first one, again, I've used color. You don't have to do it this way, but I've done it um, to at least teach you to look at the different like terms. So 5x and 3x, those are like terms. We add those together to get 8x. We're adding them because we have an addition symbol here. Remember, whatever sign is out front of the brackets gets applied into the brackets. But since this is a positive, it's not going to change anything. This is going to be positive 3, and this is still going to be negative 4. Then we also combine our constants together. We have one and negative four, so that gives us negative three. So overall, this is our simplified expression when we add those pair, that pair of polynomials. It's eight x minus three. The second example, um, the first term here, we have x squared, but it's all alone because there are no other terms that have a squared in it. So that's done. 
The two green terms, those are like terms, 2x and negative 6x. So we combine those by adding the coefficients together, we get negative 4x. And then the 5 is also on its own. There's no other constant, so that's as far as it can go. So this is our simplified polynomial, x squared minus 4x plus 5. Remember from the last lesson, this is a binomial because it has two terms. This is a trinomial because there are three terms. Last example, we've got a trinomial plus a trinomial. So in red, I've underlined the x squared terms, and we're going to add these up. So x squared plus negative x squared, well, that's just x squared minus x squared, which is just zero. So those go away. Then we've got 3x minus x, so that's 2x. And then minus 1 plus 3, that gives us 2. So our final simplification, remember our x squared term went away, so we're just left with 2x plus 2. Obviously, this is a lot simpler than what our original question was. So this is how you can see how useful this would be, the skill is. Subtracting polynomials is the same idea. We just have to be very careful about the signs because then we're going to have a lot of double negatives. So to subtract polynomials, we find like terms and we combine the coefficients, but make sure you use the correct sign. So for this example, same idea. What are our like terms? We've got 2x and 3x. But what I've done, what I've written here with my blue arrows, remember this negative sign is going to affect everything inside the brackets. So instead of th positive 3x, this becomes negative 3x. And this becomes a positive 2. So I always just write when I'm dealing with subtraction, I write the term in brackets. So it kind of reminds me to apply that negative to it. So we've got 2x minus 3x. That gives us minus x. And then we've got 1 minus minus 2. That's positive 3. So this is my finalized. Uh, expression minus x plus 3. So I wrote another reminder here. Remember the subtraction sign applies to everything in the brackets after it. Let's try some examples. We want to subtract each pair of polynomials. Again, I'm using color to, uh, to show you what the like terms are. We've got 2x squared minus minus x squared. So again, I've put this in brackets to make it very clear to myself that this double negative is happening. It becomes a positive. So in my next step, I just turn it into a positive and then it's really easy to calculate. I highly recommend doing, doing that in two steps so that you don't mess up the signs. For the constants, we've got negative five minus positive three. So again, I put it in brackets here. Negative five minus three is negative eight. So then we just write the terms that we have left. We've got 3x squared minus 8. In this example, we have a trinomial and a trinomial. For our x squared terms, we've got 4x squared minus positive x squared. So that gives us 3. You've got 3x minus 2x. That gives us 1x. And then we've got minus 7 minus minus 2. There's a lot of negatives there. Let's make sure that we, that we do this correctly. Again, I put it in brackets so that I know that double negative applies. I turn it into a positive, and it gives me negative 5. So then I just combine the three terms that I've, that I've simplified into my final answer. 3x squared, positive x, negative 5. That's the final polynomial, or the simplified version, when I subtract this uh, pair of polynomials. Last example, it's a big one. We want to simplify the expression by collecting like terms. So we've got three trinomials. We've got a lot of terms here to combine. So again, in these, with these blue arrows, I've reminded us that this is a, when it's subtraction here, this negative is going into the bracket and applying to every term in the bracket. It's going to change all those signs. Technically, the same is true for this, but because it's a positive, it doesn't change anything. Whatever's in the bracket is going to be whatever sign is in front of it anyways. So again, I've color coded this. Hopefully that makes it easier to read and not more difficult to read. But I started with my first term, my x squared terms. So I've got 2x squared um, minus minus x squared and then positive 6x squared. 
have just combined or written those all out together, making sure to do my brackets here so I don't forget about the double negative. I do the same thing for the next term. I've got 3y, 4y, and negative 2y. But again, I'm making sure to have the correct signs here based on the signs that are here and here. And then lastly, I've got my constants. So I've got, if I scroll over, negative 6 minus minus 3 plus 1. So now that I've written them out together, I can actually combine these like terms. So from this step down, all I've done is change the sign or I've like dealt with that double negative so that I don't mess it up. Um, same thing here, going from this step down, I can remove those brackets around the 4y and I know it's just negative overall. Same thing with the 2. And then I've applied this double negative to the 3. So now I know I won't make mistakes with my signs when I combine them all. 2 plus 1 plus 6 gives us 9. 3 minus 4 minus 2 gives us negative 3. Negative 6 plus 3 plus 1 gives us negative 2. So then again, our final answer, we just have whatever we're left with. There's no more like terms to deal with. This is our final answer. And of course, that is way simpler than what our original question was. So that is how we find like terms and how we combine like terms so that we can add and subtract polynomials.